Hi guys, this is Dom and on this video I'm going to show you how to create Toto's Africa synth brass sound on the montage. Let's get started. So I had a few requests to show people how you can do Toto's Africa synth brass sound on the montage from people that I've met uh, at NAMM show, uh, also here on YouTube, shout out to Giorgio. And that's what I decided to do on this video. So here's the sound. This is actually a pretty simple sound, one AWM2 part, and that's all you need. So let's start fresh. Let's go to category search, initial, and let's go to initial AWM2. And as always, you know me by now, I always like to remove the reverb like this. And now I have a simple waveform of a piano right there. And for this sound, we need just three elements. Let's go to element number one. And now let's go and load a waveform. Category search. I'm going to go to synth lead. And I'm going to select P5 Sawtooth down zero degrees, this one. Well, we'll get there, don't worry. So this is the first element. Here's my strategy for this sound. Because we're going to use three elements and they're going to be the same oscillator but with slightly different settings, I'm going to try and do the bulk of work on this first element and then basically copy the settings to the other two elements, which is super simple to do on the montage. So let's try this one. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my filters. And for my filter type, I'm going to use a low pass analog 24 octave filter. So the very first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to try and emulate the dark part of the sound, and then I'm going to create the opening of the filter using our envelopes. So let's go like this and... Somewhere around there, I might add a little bit of velocity, sensitivity to the filter. Just a little bit. Next thing we need to do is go to our envelope. I'm going to go and create this kind of this kind of wah effect that we hear on this brass sound. So, so I'm going to open the attack. Then I'm going to take care of my decay. And as you can see, I already have this kind of brass kind of sound. Now let's go and take care of our filter depth. So instead of 40, I'm going to step it up a little bit and go 58. Because what this does is it determines how much this envelope will affect your filter. If you have smaller values, it doesn't affect it so much. If I go higher, it opens the filter even more. Perfect, now let's move on to our amplitude envelope. First of all, I'm going to turn down the level a little bit because we're going to add two more elements and then we're going to overload the sound. So I'm going to keep it low, maybe 78 is fine. Let's go to our amp envelope. I'm going to just make the attack a little bit less sharp. And I'm going to add a little bit of release. I mean, this you can, it's, you can adjust according to taste. I prefer to have it in a kind of moderate release so I can play fast parts as well. And if I want to make the release longer for, you know, some patty sounds, I can always change the release from the real-time controls. So that's not an issue. I, I prefer to have flexibility right there. Great, now for some sparkle in the sound. 
So now we're going to go to our pitch envelope and this sound looks like it has a little bit of pitch envelope in the beginning, a little bit of attack that goes, you know, pitches the sound a little bit on the very, very first attack to get this kind of stabby sound. So to do this, we're going to go to our attack and add a little bit of attack there. Let's say... That's great, but now we also need to change our attack time because it's taking too long. And also our decay time. It's a very subtle difference, but I think it adds to the sound. I think we need that. So let's check where we are at this point. Perfect. But now we need a little bit of wideness and a little bit of detuning. So in order to do that, it's super simple in montage. All you need to do is select your element. Right now I've selected element number one. And then you need to go shift and edit. And then you get this nice screen that allows you to copy that element to, for example, element number two, as you can see. Copy it. And I'm also going to copy element number two to element number three. So right now I have all three elements playing exactly the same sound, which of course it will just sound louder. But now it's time to add the magic dust to the sound. I'm going to go to our element two, go to amplitude, and as you can see, we have the exact same parameters on every element, element three, element two, element one. That's because we copied the elements across. So we go to element two, amplitude. And the first thing I want to do is pan those guys. So I'm going to pan element two to the left and element three to the right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to our oscillator tune. Go to element number two and detune this, let's say, minus six. So you go to fine and select your parameter right there. And element three, I'm going to make it plus four, six. I can play by ear at this point. So you can make it as detuned as you want. Perfect. Now, for the last touches, we're going to go to common, go to our effects, and I would really like to add a nice chorus in this one, just to make it thicker and wider. So I'm going to use J Chorus, which is an amazing chorus. I love this, you already know that. And let's see how it sounds. Without. This effect adds a little bit of dimension to the sound. And I think there must be a little bit of chorus on the original. I'm not sure about that, but I like this, definitely. Last but not least, we're going to use insert B and add a little bit of reverb. And what I'm gonna use in this case, I think I'm gonna use the SPX stage, which is like a classic uh, algorithm by Yamaha. And um, let's see how it sounds. And in my opinion, the default preset is a tad too long for this sound. I can go and make it maybe 0.9 seconds. Maybe I can make the top end a little bit darker. And that's it. We've created the sound. Now the beauty with the montage is that you have all those real-time controls. So basically you can morph this sound to make it exactly the way you want while you're performing. So for example, this is the standard sound. Sounds very good. But then if you hit the tone button right here, you're able to change the cutoff, the resonance, the filter depth, Portamento, the attack, decay, sustain, release. Like I said, now 
this sound is really... I can play fast, but now if I want to add some release... So maybe if I want to play like the, the verse... I can adjust to however long I want this to be. The other cool thing, of course, is the filter. And my favorite control for this sound is the filter depth. So in the verses, I think the sound gets a little bit darker which of course we can achieve already because we have the velocity assigned to the filter but now we also have the filter depth here so let me show you And make it super bright. So if you find that you're not cutting through the mix, just up the filter depth and you're good. And then if you make want to make it dark, play with the cutoff and the depth. This will give you like endless variations. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this helps. Go ahead and create this sound on your montage. It's really, really fun to play with it after you created it. Of course, don't forget to go and save it. Once you're done, go and hit store and then just type a name of your performance and then you have it already right there. I'm also going to try and upload this sound. So keep checking because I'm going to put a link down in the description when I have it online so that all of you guys can download it and use it and enjoy it. As always, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button because it really helps. And of course, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can get notifications when I have new videos like this. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.